everyone, it's Hong from La Rouge Beauty again today. Um, before I start with my next um, YouTube video, I just wanted to say thank you to all of those who have watched my previous videos in the past. Um, the best one that I've done so far is the skincare one. I've had over 2,000 views, which I'm really proud of. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Um, I thought I would do kind of like a recap on um, the skincare regime that I do now because leading up to winter, my skin does get a little bit drier. So I thought I'd show you how I clean my skin during the day and also at night time before I get to bed and what products I use to hydrate my skin throughout winter just to make sure that it's nice and hydrated. So, um, I always start with a cleansing oil to remove my makeup. So I use a Shulmora cleansing oil. This one here is the Ultimate cleansing oil. It's, um, it's quite rich and it's just got really good ingredients in there. And what I do is I actually just do a few pumps on um, the back of my hand, um, dry first. Apply it on my, all over my eyes and just massage it really gently for a few minutes. Um, I do that also to all my face as well. And then what I do is apply a little bit of water um, just to emulsify it and remove all of my makeup. Once I've done that, I do a second um, cleanse. So I do a few more coats over my face and I actually use my Clarisonic Mia, which is this one here. It's like a, um, a paint tool and it pretty much just, uh, what it does is it actually cleans your skin really, really well. It gets rid of any dirt that you've got underneath the skin surface, gets rid of you know blackheads, large pores, um, whiteheads as well. Um, and you can use this in the shower as well. So pretty much you're supposed to just apply it. I've just turned it on now. Just, it's just kind of like going around in circles. And what it does is it cleans your skin and it just goes around in circles and you're supposed to put it around your forehead, down your nose, around your cheek area, and also just around your chin area as well. Um, I mean, depending on what type of skin you have, you wouldn't use this all the time. My skin is generally normal to dry, so I use the Clarisonic probably three to four times a week, because if I overuse that, I overstimulate my skin and I end up getting breakouts. So this baby here works really, really well. It actually, um, what it does is it gets rid of all your dead skin cells, so it brightens your skin over time as well. So after I use that, I've actually run out of um, toner, but the toner I do use, which um, is in my last video, is a um, Shulmora uh, Rejuvenous Cleansing Oil, not cleansing oil, sorry, a, um, a toner. It doesn't actually have any alcohol in it, so it's not harmful to the skin. Um, it's really, really gentle, and I put that on a cotton pad, wipe it all over my face, um, and that's made to hydrate your skin as well. The next thing I do is I use this Kiehl's Line Reducing Eye Brightening um, Concentrate. So this really, really works for me. Um, my eyes, underneath my eyes, or the eye contour is really, really dry. And because I'm 30 now, I'm starting to see a lot of fine lines. And I just want to make sure that those lines just stay there or disappear and no other ones come through. So I'm using heaps of skincare products. But um, I use a little bit of this, um, dab it on my ring finger, and just pretty much like massage it around the eye area. And that is a pre-eye cream. And then what I do afterwards is I use a um, powerful wrinkle reducing eye cream over the top. So I use a pre eye cream and then I use an eye cream. Um, some of you might think that that is a little bit too much, but I think um, the more you take care of your skin now, the later on um, you don't have to worry about it so much. So they're the two eye creams that I use. The next thing I do is I use a powerful um, strength line reducing concentrate. So this also is a pre-serum. So I use a little bit of this and I put it pretty much um, on my forehead, um, near the eye area, but not on the eye area. Um, a little bit down my nose and just around my um, lip line as well, because I find once you age, you end up getting like these um, fine lines around the lip area. So I apply a little bit of that on and it is quite strong. So if your skin is really sensitive, probably not the best to use because I find that it works really, really well and I see instant results with this. It does tingle a little bit, but you kind of get over it. And after I use that, I actually use this here, which is a Giorgio Armani Youth Regenerator. It's a Regenesance range. So it comes in like a little pump like that. And I use half of that pipette and I put that all over my skin. It's got a beautiful lily um, fragrance to it, but it's not too strong. And I also use that day and night as well. And then I finish off with my um, Shulmora Moisturizing Cream. So I use the cream during winter and then I use the gel during summer because the 
Um, the gel is a little bit lighter and during summer my skin tends to be slightly more combination. So they're the products that I use. Um, I just wanted to also show you the face masks and the eye masks that I use as well to help hydrate my skin. And I normally use these about two to three times a week. So I've got these collagen eye patches and they're really, really good. Uh, they're amazing. I sell them to all my brides as well, um, just to prepare them for their wedding. And I'll open it up just to show you what it looks like. So what they, um, it's from the face shop from Korea and it comes out looking like that. So they actually look like sole inserts, like you know there's party feet. It's really liquidy and what you want to do is you actually want to take it out of the, the tray and there's two in there and it's quite gel like. You can put these in the fridge as well because when it's um, cool and you put it on your um, like underneath your eyes it actually feels quite nice. But it kind of just looks like that and you pretty much put it underneath your eyes and leave it on for about 40 minutes. And honestly, the first time I used this, my fine lines disappeared, my dark circles disappeared, and also my puffiness underneath my eyes disappeared. It was amazing. So I kept using it. And then I started you know, introducing it to all my brides, and they find that it works really well for them as well. So um, love, love, love these. These work really well. When I'm using the eye patches, I still put on my eye cream, but I use the eye patches first, and then I will just finish off with the this one here which is the powerful wrinkle cream eye cream the next thing i do um, is the collagen um, face mask so this one here is pretty much just a bigger version of the eye patches um, they come in two sections so you've got your top half and then you've got your bottom half as well and these work really really well they're quite gel like and you leave them on for about 20 minutes once you peel it off you massage just the excess into your skin just so that you know the serum actually penetrates into your skin and hydrates your skin. And then once you're finished with that, um, put on your moisturizer. These products here, you don't actually wash it off. Some you do. My phone's going now, sorry. Let me turn that off. Um, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, so what I was saying was, um, after I apply on the face mask and the eye masks, when I do remove it, I don't actually wash it off. Um, you don't want to do that because you, you want the serum to really penetrate into the skin. If you're gonna wash it off, you're pretty much wash, washing off all the good nutrients. Um, that your skin is supposed to absorb. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was cleansing wipes. These cleansing wipes here, I really, really love them, but you really should be cleansing your skin properly and not just using wipes as well. So try to only use these when necessary. Don't use them every day and think you're really cleaning your face because you're not. Um, they, some of them do have alcohol in it, so they do dry out the skin quite a lot. So I definitely think invest in a really good cleanser. Um, and my number one, cleanser is the Shaw sure one. They've got different types of colours for different skin um, types as well. So definitely go visit your Shaw sure Mora counter. Um, pretty sure there's one you know near you somewhere and they'll be able to recommend one that will suit your skin tone. So there you have it, that is what I use on an everyday basis. I do that morning and I also do it at night. Um, I find I spend about five to, I guess, seven minutes putting on my creams, but I think it's definitely worth it because you want your skin to look really nice and vibrant even if you're 50. All right, thanks for watching guys. See you later.